all right so we learned a lot in these two episodes man um i was really because you guys told me about that name drop i was looking out for it man and they dropped it again and this time it's for kenny so kenny's an ackerman levi's an ackerman and mikasa is an ackerman how are these three characters related i don't know um is kenny is maybe i'm thinking this is the terms i'm thinking in right now i'm thinking maybe um kenny is mikasa's uncle that's what i'm thinking it's not her dad because we know her dad died right i'm trying to remember what happened in that scene where aaron saved her i don't remember was it just the mom it was just the mom and the sister that got killed. I don't remember. I really, I don't remember what happened. Um, but I know it, it was a tragic scene. So what I'm thinking is, I don't remember if the dad was there or not. If the whole family, it was the, the mom and the dad got killed and she was kidnapped. I think that's what happened. Or it was, or the, the dad wasn't there. I don't remember exactly. But I'm thinking that this guy, Kenny, is her uncle and potentially Levi is a cousin. So I'm thinking that Kenny, Levi is actually Kenny's son, but you know, like legitimately, not just because he took care of him, but legitimately, but he never told him that. You get what I'm saying? So, or it could be Levi's uncle too. You know what I mean? So, but he never knew he was related to him. So, and that's what I'm saying. Like they waited until now to start dropping these last names. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I wasn't really concentrated on these last names so much where I would have caught it. You know what I'm saying? So it's the things that were revealed in these two episodes. We learned a lot more about the time. So it turns out that the theory is actually true. Um, and I'm just going off of this, confirming it by the halftime mark where, where it was like public disclosure, some notice or whatever the situation is. So by my understanding of what's going on, um, with the Titans is that, oh, you get turned into a Titan. You can't really turn back into it because you lose, basically you lose your consciousness, like the mindless Titans, you remember I, abnormal so the way how they become intelligent like the armor the colossal you know annie um the way how they become um intelligent right or become you know conscious again regain consciousness is is basically they have to eat a power titan so say so they're thinking they're thinking their theory is that um, um, oh my God, their names, bird hole and Steiner, right? Um, they're, I mean, Emma Steiner, Reiner. Why am I thinking about wrestling right now? So Reiner and bird their friend that got eaten by Ymir, um, they, that's what turned her back into a human and she retained those powers right so that's how she got the powers to be able to turn into a titan and getting the power i guess the quick movement i don't i don't really know what ymir's power really is because did she really get powers or because it's nothing specific like you know the armor titan got armor right we got the the big ass colossal titan you know what i'm saying can release steam and stuff like that um we got um annie's you know, um, hardening skin and stuff like that. And now we got Aaron with the coordinate power. So don't really know what Ymir's power was. Maybe you guys can expound on that a little bit. Maybe she was a fast, um, didn't really display anything specific. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, maybe it's her quickness or, um, agility was way better than everybody else. Maybe that's what, um, the person that she ate had as a power. So I don't know. I don't know. Just speculating. But as I said, as I was talking during the episode, I was saying that my curiosity now turns to Aaron. Whereas in did his dad figure out how to give people 
titan powers without have without them having to eat people or eat a powered I mean, not eat people eat a powered um titan or a titan a powered human titan human whatever you want to call it you guys understand me right so that's where my attention is right now and then we got that name drop and also i don't want them i, I really don't want to see erwin die after go after having so many epics moments in the anime so far i don't want to see him die even though he would be dying for the greater good we all we already know who erwin is he is the man okay he is the man really impressive season two for him um the epic moment he had during that battle was crazy right um losing his arm and still coming back to take air to to basically cut Eren from out of bird holes um you know kit him you know hold whatever um right so that was very impressive. So to see him now having to face the king and, you know, this corrupted king that's been trying to hide the truth from everybody for all these years. And now all the truth is bubbling to the surface. Man, that scene with with um with Hanji and the, the um the dude um Flegel is his name. Fleg is a weird ass name. Flegel, that scene was really cool how they set it up so that they would speak the the internal police would would take the um they took they took the bait and spilled all the beans and now they're captured i wanted him to fart in dude's face as he sat on his head of course um we already know that levi is a savage he doesn't care is, is the most stoic stoic interesting character i've ever come across because he doesn't wear his emotions on his face but when he releases that emotion remember in that first episode when he's like kenny i'm coming for you <laughs> you know that was pretty cool so um so yeah he's a multi-layered character that i i love i love his character so much so um so the situation is is getting out of hand now because they're trying to they're they're all the internal police are looking for them to capture every single scout because they're being blamed for all for it for the the um the situation that's going on wrongfully accused of course i love the fact that marlo came and he got his lifelong dream he had to prove himself really if he's got that conviction and i'm glad that he got that test um was very fitting for for jean to do that too so i i was really digging it, it was really fitting for him to do it because he's one of those guys that's that's like he wants because aaron impressed him now he's like because he, he said to him, he's like, dude, you remind me of this idiot. And he's talking about Aaron, man, because Aaron really taught him. Aaron, he looks up to Aaron, but of course he's not going to, he's not going to show it because he's like, he's like the one that's like in the corner. It's like, yo, this dude is the real deal. Like right now, if Aaron was supposed to lead an army, Jean would be his right hand man. No question asked. He's like, he's He's what Levi is, in my opinion. He's what Levi is to Erwin, as in, you know, they Levi needed that convincing. You get what I'm saying to join, but and and now we have John. We really and truly like. Remember, he didn't want to be in the Scouts. It's because of Aaron why he chose the Scouts. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's the same thing. So I dig it, man. I love it. Um. So that was very nice. I was wondering when Marlo was going to come back because he impressed me the first time I saw him. Um, he really wanted to be a scout from a long, from a, uh, a ways back. So now they have two new members of the scout. It's pretty dope. But man, he hit, um, she hit John so hard. Bro. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing but crack up. Like the way how they slowed it down, you saw the impact of his face. <laughs> it was like impossible, man. But. It was great, man. These two episodes, um, definitely, definitely want to see how, you know, I have three more episodes to react to again tomorrow night. Um, so I'm definitely waiting for that. I'm probably going to, I don't know yet, but I might announce that I can't do that note on for Thursday because I'm going to have to do three Evangelion and and three attack on titan so i might skip that note death note 
I might skip it, episode two for Thursday and just drop that on Friday. Um, but look out for the announcement because it might be announced. Thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, man, it's always been is is great. And as I said before in my intro, it's going to take way more than some dislikes to make me quit YouTube. OK, like way, way more than that. Trust me, I'm not somebody that gives up that easily on anything. Listen, man. Naruto taught me that, OK, to never give up on your dreams, have goals and just just achieve them, man. Go through the hell, get go through the high waters and achieve your goals, man. So I just want to thank you guys once again. I'm extremely, um, extremely happy and 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 grateful for everything that you guys do for this channel, man. Comments, likes. You guys have been killing the like button. Um, even though I, you know what I'm saying, like. But hey, we're our aim for this video is 50 likes. If you want 50 likes, 50 likes for this video. I want to see 50 likes for this video. All right. So thank you guys for watching. As always, man. Just remember to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, hit that like button. As always, and remember. You are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next reaction on Thursday. Peace.